faculty and staff here, Mrs. Hesed in particular, and then our ELA teachers, Mr. Simber and Mrs. Cummins, our art teacher, Ms. Bodell, our music teachers, Ms. Kalsa, Ms. Bowman, and the substitute, Ms. Caracol? Caracol. And um, I want to thank Ryan and Jill for doing such a great job. Uh, all the preparation is great. We love being here. And uh, I think we've got a really good program for you. Remember that in this program, students write their own poetry. And they're inspired by Robert Burns, a Scottish poet, and Paul Lawrence Dunbar, uh, an African-American poet. And they're going to tell you all about that as they lead us through the program. So we're going to start with Brian McNeil and our fiddlers. Thank you. OK. I want to use a microphone because I've got a big, loud, Scottish voice. OK? We're actually going to play uh, a group of tunes for you. The first group, uh, the first tune I'm going to play on this little instrument here. This is called a concertina. It's a very beautiful instrument. And, uh, it was made in 1923, this one. I'm going to play you one little tune on that to lead in. Then we're going to play a tune called G Banks and Braves. We're going to play a tune called The Earl of Mansfield's March. And then we're going to play something from the Shetland Islands, which is a little strange. And in that one, it's called The Sow's Lament for the Tatties. And you'll be able to hear a pig looking for potatoes in my fiddle. <laughs> you don't believe me? Believe me, you can hear it. All my friends are in here, can't they? Yeah. So here we go, and then after that we're going to finish with a tune called Guru My Not Very Day. So here we go, I'll start with this.
Paul Lawrence Dunbar, Robert Burns, different times but similar stories. Robert Burns was an 18th century poet who became known as the Scottish National Bard after giving voice through his poems to the Scots people, their land, and their struggles. African American poet Paul Lawrence Dunbar, whose parents had escaped slavery, lived in the 19th century, and like Robert Burns, Dunbar documented his land, time, and people through powerful words. Both men were born to poverty, self-taught, and moved between social classes, from wealthy and educated to impoverished workers, celebrating their cultures while pointing out injustices with their artistry and wit. Robert Burns wrote Scots Wahay to commemorate Scots' fight for freedom against English King Edward I. He imagines Robert and the Bruce inspiring the Scottish troops to bravery. Scots with hay by Robert Burns. Scots with hay we, Wallace bled. Scots when Bruce has apt and led. Welcome to your gory bed or to victory. Now's the day and now's the hour. See the front, O oh battle lower. See approach proud Edward's power, chains and slavery. Wa will be a traitor knave. Wa can fill a coward's grave. Wa say base as be a slave. Let him turn and flee. Wa for Scotland's king and law, freedom's sword will strongly draw. Freedom man, free man stand, or free man fall, let him follow me. By oppression's woes and pains, by your sons and servile chains, we will drain our dearest veins, but they shall be free. Lay the proud usurpers low, tyrants fall on every foe. Liberties in every blow, let us do or need. Paul Lawrence Dunbar captured the heroism of African American patriot soldiers during America's fight for independence with Black Samson of Brandywine. Brandywine was the largest continuous battle of the Revolutionary War. Dunbar's inspiration draws from the legend that says, in the fight at Brandywine, Black Samson, a giant Negro armed with a scythe, sweeps his way through the red ranks. Samson of Brandywine by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Gray are the pages of record, dim are the volumes of Eld. Elson, old Delaware, told us more than her history held. Told us with pride in the story, honest and noble and fine, more of the tale of my hero, Black Samson of Brandywine. Sing of your chiefs and your nobles, Saxon and Celt and Gaul, breath of mine ever shall join you, highly I honor them all. Give to them all of their glory, but for this noble of mine, lend him a tithe of your tribute, Black Samson and Brandywine. There in the heat of the battle, there in the stir of the fight, loomed he an ebony giant, black as the pinions of night, swinging his scythe like a mower over a field of grain, needless to care of the gleaners where he had passed the main. Straight through the heart, the human harvest, cutting a bloody swath. Woe to you, soldier of Britain. Death is abroad in his path. Flee from the scythe of the reaper. Flee while the moment is thine. None may with safety withstand him. Black Samson of Brandy One. Was he a freeman or a bondman? Was he a man or a thing? What does it matter? His bravery renders him royal, a king. If he was only a chattel, honor the ransom may pay of the royal, the loyal black giant who fought for his country that day. Noble and bright is the story, worthy of touch of the liar, sculptor or poet should find it, full of stuff to inspire. Beat it in the brass and in the copper, tell it in the story line, so that the world may remember. I believe freedom is being able to have your own opinions, to be able to express yourself in any way you choose, to be equal to every other person, 
and not to have to do what other people say is right. The line from a poem that I liked is from Black Samson of Brandywine. Was he a free man or a bondman? Was he a man or a thing? What does it matter? His bravery renders him royal, a king. I like this because it shows that you're important because you fight for what you believe in. I like that the Black Samson of Brandy White has lots of talk of freedom because it says, was he a free man or a bond man? Was he a man or a thing? Was he an item or a person? My idea of freedom is that everyone has a say and you can't say they don't because of skin color or other things. Uh, hi, I'm, my name is Ian Gould. I think that Robert Burns and Paul Lawrence Dunbar express freedom by writing a poem about whatever they think is important. I also think that the age that they started writing shows freedom by saying that they can write at whatever age that you want. In my opinion, I agree with these ideas and I think they made a valid point. Gray are the pages is my favorite line from Black Simpson. For this poem, they are telling a story about a war or a fight, and they are saying the information is very old. I like when poets and writers use color to describe something, and this is a good example of it. It also sets you up for the story telling how old and important it is. My name is Nicole Murphy. I believe freedom is the feeling of being able to express yourself without worry or anxiety that, that others might not let you be who you really are. For example, take the LGBTQ community. Many trans people might feel as if they cannot become their fullest self due to the opinions of others. I think that once you no longer worry about the opinions of others and let other people stop, stop influencing your decisions so heavily, you can truly be free. Good goes with honesty, I say, to honor and bless, to rich and poor alike, it brings wealth, oh happiness. My Sword of Man by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. In this line, Dunbar addresses the issue that people sometimes feel as if they hold a higher place in society than others. Often these people are not being completely who they are and they lack honesty. I've said my idea of freedom was being honest with yourself and not letting outside influence get the best of you. I believe this is what Dunbar is saying in that line and in that whole poem overall. Under the guidance of poet M.K. Stallings, we sought inspiration from our poets, then studied haiku, furzet, quadrain, villanelle, and free verse. We learned about these forms, but in the end, the forms have to have content and feeling. So we wrote about our lives, our concerns, and our ideas of freedom. My name is Ava Carson and I will be performing Freedom. We as Americans have the freedom to vote. We are the ones who get to decide under whose rule we wish to abide, yet the people we elect never seem to be wise. Hi, I'm Madison Henry and this is my poem, Together. When we band together, no matter the weather, to fight for what's right, not just let the helpless sit tight. I'm Katie Nemenik, and this is my poem, Caged. Caged in my own mind, bars are thick, there's no room to move. As the sky turns from black to blue, I watch from afar while the rest form. My hands beat on the bar and bars and the cage gets smaller. I look around to see others in their cages. Happy, content, fear, and anger. The cage does strange, strange things to a person. I'm, I'm Liam Rollage and this is my poem, Wandering Free. Wandering through the rough, rough woods, buzzing between the trees like a bee, under the tall buds of trees, this is what it means to be free. My name is Katie Rash, and I'm going to be reading my poem, Words. They are held there every day, trapped inside, for the fear of slipping out into the world is too strong, waiting for the day when they will be released to be free of judgment. Hi, 
I am Nicole Murphy, and I'll be, reading my, my, I'll be reading my poem, Why. While watching its reflection pass, she wonders about her reason as the city disappears into the glass. The water ripples and falls behind as she runs ahead to think, and I'm confused as to why it hurt my breath. I'm Sean Henry, and I will be doing my poem that was inspired by Paul Lawrence Dunbar's My Sort of Man. True happiness cannot be bought with your dollar bills nor your dimes. However, it is obtained with kind words and actions alike. Kwan Saba is a poetic form based on the principles of Kwanzaa. It was invented by East St. Louis poet laureate Dr. Eugene B. Redmond. This form is seven lines, each line has seven words, and no word should exceed seven letters. The Kwanzaa principles that we are challenged to choose from are in Swahili and are Amani, which means faith, Nia, which means purpose, and Hugi Chagalia, which means self-determination. I'm Ezra Sproul, and I'm reading an Imani, Nia, and Guji Chandelier poem. Faith is knowing what you believe in, doing what you think is right. Purpose is knowing you have a goal, you have to complete that goal. Self-capable is knowing you, have, you will complete whatever goal you set. You have to figure it out. when failure follows you. Run for the needs of the living. Push to find the reason for life. Push to find the voices of trust. Believe in your ability to imagine good. Fight till the end for your opinion. I'm V. Bussin, and my poem is about Nia. I don't know what I'm here for, but I'll try to find, find out what. Purpose of my own voices and why I feel different than others. Should I wait for things to change, or should I only scream and shout how to know what life is about? Hello, I am Ian Gold, and this is my new poem. Purpose is what we find over time. It depends on what we study for. Careers may seem to be your purpose, but it might not be your purpose. Purpose may be to help your family, maybe to be happy for what you have. What comes to mind are goals. You have now heard our thoughts on freedom, faith, purpose, and self-determination. We all have to make choices in life. Our first song is about a man and his brothers who choose to be pirates on the high seas. This is a traditional Scottish ballad and tells the story of Henry Martin and his encounter with a merchant ship.
and she's cast away, cast away, cast away. And all of her merry men drown. Villanelle is another complex poet poetic form that we wrote. It consists of 19 lines organized as five tercets and a quatrain. Listen for the repeating lines and for the rhymes. I'm as a scroll. Do not shoot the ball. Even if you think you will be the hero, don't you dare fall. If you shoot the ball, we will all ball. When you know the clock will hit zero, do not shoot the ball. Even I saw he wanted the De Niro, don't you dare fall. I know you have an open call, you will look like Kiro, do not shoot the ball. The shot will probably hit the wall, the ball will have a Firo, don't you dare fall. The ball will roll into the hall, you will never be the hero, do not shoot the ball, don't you dare fall. my villanelle. Kick the ball, kick it with might. Hope the feeling will last. Forget the games of the past, we'll put up a fight. Kick the ball fast. The light that is cast, everything feels right. Hope the feeling will last. My feelings racing around contrast, the goal is inside. Kick the ball fast. A goal at last, it was tight. Hope the feeling will last. My energy is reaching its last in the evening light. Kick the ball fast, hope the feeling will last. Run, run, as swift as a fox, heads jerk up, ears alert. Run, run, as strong as an ox, looking around, gazes locked. Hoofing, hooves stomping in dusty dirt. Run, run, as swift as a fox, running, running, but tripped over rocks. Stumbling, struggling, head hurt. Run, run, as strong as an ox, rest of the herd, making a mock. Falling behind, my herd goes jerks. Run, run, as swift as a fox, now I realize a nine box. Predators lurk, run, run, as friends and ox. All is gone with a knock, and now I no longer hurt. Run, run, as friends and ox. Run, run, as swift as a fox. I'm Nicole Murphy, and I'll be reading my bill now. As leaves fall slow to the tired ground, watching as their mark is cast, that time of year has rolled around. It's been a while since they built a mound of fallen branches on the icy grass as leaves fall slow to the tired ground. When all to be heard is the sound of cars crunching colors as they pass, that time of year has rolled around. Watch as the kids run through the town, pressing faces against cold glass as leaves fall slow to the tired ground. When shades of orange and red surround the children sitting in the class, that time of year has rolled around. When green grass turns to a welcoming brown, and days stretch on and the night times last, as leaves fall slow to the tired ground, that time of year has over. I'm Robert Floyd and this is my bill now. Halloween is pretty scary when the sun goes down and makes it night. It makes me happy and very merry. We go trick-or-treating with my good friend Larry, and his odd costume gives us a fright. Halloween is pretty scary. My little sister dressed up as a fairy. She glows under the great big light. It makes me happy and very merry. My dad's wolf costume is very hairy. My mom is Michael Jackson on his right. Halloween is pretty scary. Older sister as a slow boy in her sperries might get into a tiny little fight. It makes me happy and very merry. One of my friends dressed up as Barry, he bends in as he's flying through a kite. Halloween is pretty scary, it makes me happy and very merry. In a man's a man, and my sort of man, both Burns and Dunbar wrote about the nobility of an honest day's work. Our next song is called The Tunnel Tigers, and was written by Ewan McColl about the young Irish men who dug the tunnel for the London Underground Rail System. They sing of the hard work and missing hunting, fishing, and courting. 
Only you can be the one who find the way. Friends who help you through those hard times. You are the run to write those helpful lines. You never walk alone, you have people by your side. Use your brain and you'll always survive. Stress is natural, no need to freak. All you have to do is get through this week. <laughs> for this song, so I would love for you to join us on the chorus that comes after each verse. So we'll be looking for you. And remember, we're gonna do the order that's printed there, and we'll do a chorus after each verse. Oh, uh -huh. 
classrooms if you're going down the main hall here please notice the felt pieces that are on the wall those were part of our project the art of felting and uh, students made their own felt and created the designs on top and they're really gorgeous uh, this year so please take a uh, look at those and enjoy them and I want to thank Jill Chambliss and Brian McNeil our artists again for all the great music choices and all the great things that they've done and all of our poets here and writers and thinkers and all of you parents who have come and the whole school thank you very very much thank you